Yo, my name is Benjamin and this is multi-select for pages and assets. Let's dive right in. Folders in Framer are now also directly selectable. And by holding either Command on Mac or Control on Windows or Shift, we can select multiple pages and edit them in a single go. For example, here we can right click to wrap our selection in a new folder. As these are pages, this effectively allows us to change the URL of many subpages at once. And of course, it also helps us maintain our projects by letting us mass delete old pages. Besides quickly changing the page structure and deleting old pages, multi-selection is also useful for quickly undrafting multiple pages when you're ready to go live. Next, we've also made multi-select work with drag and drop, letting you define your site structure in a more natural way. Here I'll select a few pages and then I'll simply drag them onto the 2024 page, turning my selected pages into sub pages. All in all, these changes make it much easier to manage larger sites with many pages. However, these larger sites often also have tons of assets. And multi-select makes it much easier to clean up projects like this. For demo purposes, I'll simply go ahead and wrap them all in a single subfolder. Selecting 103 components at once and then dragging them onto the archive folder. And there we go. That's much better. Now on the canvas here, we're looking at a brand new page using a layout template. That's why we have a navigation, a call to action and a footer. One of the coolest new use cases we've unlocked here is the ability to insert multiple assets at once. I'll drag and drop these right onto our page. And just like that, we have created a foundation for a new landing page ready for us to customize. That's multi-select for pages and assets in Framer. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.